A Fond du Lac County judge handed down a sentence today in what he calls the toughest case that he has ever been a part of. It involves a motorcycle crash and a deadly one that happened a year and a half ago. Two motorcyclists from Michigan were killed. And the man who caused the accident, Clinton Lovelace, is going to prison for eight years. Fox 11's Chad Dorn has balanced coverage of the reaction to the sentence. Can't begin to explain how horrible I feel that this has happened. <clears throat> I'd like to take this opportunity only to apologize. He said few words to the families and victims of the May 2012 crash involving 12 members of the Muskegon Motorcycle Gang on Highway 151 in Tichita. Two were killed and eight were injured. And to those who survived, the apology was too little too late. I saw Dan take his last breath. It would have been me if he would have gone to the right and I would have gone to the left. It would have been me taking my last breath. I hope Mr. Lovelace goes away for a long time. Prosecutors describe the impact the crash had then and still has today. Two people are dead. Eight were significantly injured. Dozens, if not hundreds, were emotionally impacted by this crime. Judge Gary Sharp also struggled to put the magnitude of the crash into words. The effect of the act in this case is carnage that is staggering. Um, beyond one's ability to grasp or understand. But he said the state's request for 20 years in prison was too much when they couldn't prove Lovelace's driving ability was impaired by the oxycodone in his system. Instead, he sentenced Lovelace to eight years in prison. I'd be happier had it been 20 years, but am I severely disappointed? No, I'm not. Eight years is a, for a 27-year-old kid, that's a substantial time. Yeah. Members of Lovelace's family also expressed relief over a sentence where neither side is completely satisfied. It's hard to take in everything that's happened in the last year and a half. Um, and I, I think the judge was certainly as uh, reasonable as he could be, given the gravity of the situation. Groom says the families are looking forward to putting behind them the legal portion of a day they will never forget. I'm very relieved that this process is coming to an end. It's been dragging on and on for a long time. In Fond du Lac, Chad Doran, Fox 11 News. And Lovelace will also spend 15 years on extended supervision following his release from prison.